Hello. <laughs> okay, really quick. My vision <laughs> for this crazy project. Um, so I showed you guys the yarn that I got last week. This blue, this yarn here. It's blue and rainbow and all kinds of different stuff in it. Um, and so I came up with an idea for what I want to use with that. Um, and I've actually started knitting it together. So it's quite long right now. Um, I did 50 stitches across and I'm gonna make a sweater. So I double stranded the blue with some black to really just make it kind of just like make the colors pop more. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's curled right now because I'm, I'm just knitting and stuck in it, but um, on the, the garter stitch side you can just kind of see how it just, it just like, I, I feel like the black just makes it pop a lot more and it's actually pretty soft. The vibe that this is giving off, it's giving Lisa Frank. <laughs> Like, it's taking me back, actually. So I, I was, I, I wanted to experiment with different textures and different um, sizes in the same project, because I've never done that before. I'm a little nervous, but I think this is actually gonna be cool. So, I got this. Now, this is not wool. This is 65% acrylic and 35% polyamide. So it does the job of like a different texture. So here's my update. And I am gonna take it apart because I don't know what this is. Um, it's bunchy. I was trying to use some different combination fibers and stuff, but um, this, I don't know where to go from here. So I'm just gonna take it apart and try to start again and try to repurpose this line into something that will actually work. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I think I figured out what I'm gonna do, I was on Pinterest for a little bit, trying to get some inspiration <laughs> from some of the things that I saved and the things that I've already planned that I want to do, that I wanna make this year, um, to try to see if there's a way that I can kind of make something better out of what is over there. So I came up with this. <laughs> it's so hard to see. And especially since everything is in black, you can't really see anything, but, um, and I don't know if it's flipped the other way. It probably is. So sorry. This is ugly, but it might be kind of cool. So I think I'll, I'll try to put some of the images that I'm thinking about so you can like kind of get the gist of, um, where I got this from. But essentially I'm thinking about doing stripes with like the black and then the blue itself instead of how it's like... It, I double stranded it and integrated it together in here on this. This just looks so bad. Um, it's cool, but it is not wearable. Um, so I'm thinking about doing stripes instead with like the blue and the black and just alternating them and then finish that. And on top, where these squares are here, like later go in with this fiber here and sort of like embroider, well not embroider, but like stitch kind of like squares or different shapes on top. It might be worse than what this is right now, but I want to see my vision. You know what I'm saying? Like I, w I want to see what it turns out to be. So instead of for this project, like I, I was using um, 12 millimeter for like most of this and then for this I was using the 25 millimeter so I like switched it which made this 
really weird like bump situation. So instead of switching it, I'm just gonna use the, 12, the 25 millimeter the whole time. And that'll also make this go longer, like this part, just like cover more ground because I'm running out of yarn also. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I've been working on this today. Um, here's a little swatch of that and then this rectangle here. And I'm not convinced that I like it. I'm so I ended up deviating from the picture that I showed you guys of like what I was thinking I wanted to turn it into because I was looking on Pinterest and I have a list of the things that I want to make for summer, fall 2024 that that's going to be in another video where I like go over all that. So as I was looking at some of those things, I realized like, oh, one of the one of my ideas I kind of could turn this into one of the things that's on my board or something similar so that's what I tried to do so instead of making the weird pullover with the different texture stuff that I was first thinking about I kind of decided to maybe make a cardigan because I do have I forgot that I have these buttons let me show you these buttons, they're cute. So, I got a bunch of little buttons months ago, but I have a lot of them, they're not too many. Oh, there's only, okay, so there's only four. So that's not a lot, and they're medium size, but I really like them. Okay, so these are the buttons, if you can see those. There are these, this cute little like, does this even work, bro? Yeah, so this little orange heart. So I've got like four of them in here. And to be honest, since I've been using the 25 millimeter needles to like work this up, these are probably a little too small, but it was in my head. So I'm just feeling kind of defeated by this project, honestly because I just can't, like I thought I had a good creative flow going and then it like messed up and I was like, uh, and I think, I don't wanna blame this yarn because it is wonderful, it's very colorful, but I think it might be just hard to work with because, because I'm thinking like, black with this then i have this situation that is just like use me but like i don't know how and i have this leftover acrylic yarn that's just orange from that looks so orange actually on the camera from the last commission i did that i was like well maybe i'll like use this so i can like so i can kind of get this away you know like a stash buster type of thing but so i I don't know whether just to ride this out to try to keep going. I also don't know if I even like, if I really like the way the blue and the black goes, you know? Like, I don't know if that's for me. That might be why, cause like, I like having, I like cool different colors and patterns. Obviously you can see by the sweater that I'm wearing. Like I like when things are really colorful and the big, scarf that I made that's got the reds and yellows and blues and white and all that but it has to be the right amount like the right colors if that makes sense and I don't know if the, these are the right colors for me they're a little too neon so that's an update I'm kind of disappointed but it's still in progress so I'm gonna finish this and see what it's like so 
Wish me luck. I didn't actually end up making anything. I don't have anything to show you right now, but I have a bunch of other projects that I'm working on, and that one just, <laughs> just did not fit what I wanted it to, and that's okay, because that happens sometimes. I think I'm just gonna frog the whole thing and use the black yarn to make my husband some mittens, and then I'll have to hold on to the blue yarn, because I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it's still super soft and it's really great quality. The colors are just kind of funky, and I, right now, don't know how I want to use them, but I'm gonna hang on to them and add it to my yarn stash so that I can figure it out eventually and make something good. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.